In the early days, he was just another child in Toronto, immersed in his Game Boy, training his Pikachu to hit the highest levels. Little did he know his passion for these pocket monsters would one day take a fascinating turn. Fast forward a few years, the rapper's career took off, skyrocketing him to fame. But fame never managed to eclipse his childhood love for Pokemon. This love, combined with his newly acquired culinary interest, led him down a path less traveled by any rapper, the path of genetic engineering. He began researching, learning, and experimenting, driven by an insatiable curiosity. His goal? To bring the Pokemon from the virtual world into the real world, not to battle, but to feast upon. A strange hobby, you might say, but to him, it was a dream he yearned to make a reality. With the help of a team of geneticists, he manipulated strands of DNA, inserting them into existing organisms. After years of trial and error, a breakthrough occurred. A creature resembling a Pokemon was born. This wasn't just some pet project, this was a revolution in the way we perceive food and pop culture. It's important to state that no creatures were harmed in these experiments. The Pokemon were engineered to be a sustainable and ethical food source, challenging traditional norms and pushing the boundaries of what we deem acceptable to consume. The implications of this rapper's unique hobby are far-reaching. It's a testament to the human spirit's capacity for innovation and creativity. It challenges the traditional notions of what a rapper should be and do, expanding our understanding of this art form. Moreover, it raises ethical questions about genetic engineering and its potential impact on our food system. In conclusion, this Toronto rapper's journey from spitting rhymes to splicing genes is a fascinating tale of passion, innovation, and the courage to defy norms. It's a story that makes us question the boundaries between our hobbies, our professions, and our imagination. And it leaves us with a thought. What other surprising intersections might we find if we dare to venture off the well-trodden path?